Okay, so now we're going to look into the quantification of error of linear regression. Of course, when you come up with a linear regression for a certain distribution of data, you will have errors accompanying it. But how do you quantify all these errors? Okay, so the first one, we look into the standard deviation, which can be represented by SY. And the standard deviation, I think this is nothing new to you. You actually have definitely heard this many, many uh, times before. So what is it? What is standard deviation? Is It is measurement of the spread of data around the mean. Okay. And it can be represented with this formula, square root st over n minus 1. n is the number of data. So what is st? This is the formula of the st, the summation of y minus the mean and then um, square. Okay. And what does it mean? It means the sum of the squares of the residuals between the data points and the mean. So, you have to calculate ST in order for you to calculate the standard deviation. Right? So, ST is actually um, the magnitude of the residual error which associated with the dependent variable before you do the regression. Okay? So, the next one we have variance which is the square of the standard deviation variance equals to st over n minus 1 so you can uh, take off the square root okay variance is not so informative because standard deviation is what usually people will uh, be more interested in okay so for the regression error which can be represented with this um, element, SR, is actually equals to the sum of the squares of the residuals between the measured and the calculated Y. So what is residual again? The E. It is just the discrepancy between the true value of Y and the approximate value, which is the A0 and A1X which is predicted by the linear regression line. It's just the difference, all right, between the y predicted by the linear line and the real value of the data, okay? And that is the residual. Okay, so this is probably the highlight of the quantification of error, which is what we call as standard error of the estimate. So, this standard error of the estimate is the measurement of the spread of data around the regression line. Or in simpler way to put it, it is the standard deviation for the regression line. Okay? For the regression line. Just now, this SY is the standard deviation for the data around the mean. And for this one, standard error of the estimate is actually the standard deviation of the data around the regression line. So I hope you can, uh, you know how to differentiate between the standard deviation SY and the standard error of the estimate. Both are actually standard deviation, but where it is focused on is uh, this one is focused on the mean value and this one is focused on the regression line. Okay, so this concept of the standard error of the estimate is actually a very good, um, a very good way to quantify whether our regression line is good or not. Meaning how good is, the, is our, our fit that? really represents the whole data. Next, we have coefficient of determination, which can be represented by this formula, R squared equals to ST minus SR divided by ST. So this concept shows the efficiency of the estimation 
of the spread of the data using regression line compared to the mean value. So we are looking into how efficient our um, regression line compared to the without the regression, compared to the mean value. So the difference between the two item here, ST minus SR, actually it shows improvement or error reduction due to describing the data in terms of a straight line rather than as an average value, okay? And this also can be represented with just R, which is simply square root of R squared. And this one, we call it correlation coefficient. Okay, so for example, let's say after you're doing all the calculation and you get your coefficient of determination equals to 0 0.923. And then you are asking yourself, what does this value mean? This means that this it indicates that 92.3% of the uncertainty of the data is explained by the linear model. Okay, so for a perfect fit, actually SR will be equal to zero because for a perfect fit, SR will be zero. There are no errors. There are no residual errors. If the SR equals to zero, it means that your R here will definitely equals to one. Okay. So this, when r equals to 1, it actually tells you that your line explains 100% of the variability of the data. All right, moving on. So for example here, um, this question asks you to estimate errors for the linear least square feet in which you need to compute three things here. Total standard deviation. So this is just um, SY. And then you need to calculate the standard error of the estimate, which is the um, SYX and the correlation coefficient. Okay. So you're using the same data here. And because you need to use all this equation, you need to use all this equation here, SY, SYX, and you need to use this R squared. You need to calculate your ST and your SR. So according to the formula, your ST is this one, the summation of YI minus the mean. Okay, so you need another column here, YI minus the mean. So the mean is 24 over 7 because you have 7 data. 24 is the summation, 24 over 7. So you got your mean here. All right. So here, um, you just calculate for all of the data, yi minus mean. For this one, 2.5 minus 3.42857. And then don't forget the squared. Once you got all this, and then you calculate the other one, which is for sr. Uh, sorry, this is the residual, the e which is the original y minus the predicted or the um, estimated y from the regression line, which can be represented by a naught minus a1xi, okay, for all of the data. Once you got all these values, and the next thing is just to start substitute in the formulation, sorry, in the formula for the standard deviation and the standard error of the estimate, and then just calculate the correlation coefficient. So here your correlation coefficient is 0 0.932. And from here, your, you can say that 86.8% of the uncertainty of the data has been presented by your linear line, linear regression line. Okay? So now, using the same previous exercise, which I asked you to do in our previous class, so I want you to compute 
the standard error of the estimate, the SYX, and the correlation coefficient. Okay? Okay, so please try this at home. And I will give you the answer when we meet in our next class. Thank you for watching.